the Champions League, one of the most prolific tournaments in football, well, that and, you know, the World Cup, and being a Champions League winner is probably one of the highest achievements a player or manager would achieve during club level. Well, it's either the Champions League trophy or this. Going back to the Champions League, it is probably one of the best ways to show that you and your team are the best in the world. Well, I say best in the world, we're not there quite yet, but realistically, when we talk about the Champions League, we do mainly talk about the European one. There are other ones of the same name, but after that, there's another competition called the Club World Cup. That one takes all the winners from the other Champions Leagues, put them together, and see who wins. Now, most of the time, it is mainly the European Champions League winners that win that one, but sometimes the Brazilian teams win. Sometimes. Anyway, this video is a tribute to the time we managed to win the treble for the first time, or if the real fans know, the quadruple. The reference to that is from this video. Please watch it, it's very good. I, I think. This is a recap of season 14, the season where we managed to win the equivalent of the Champions League and the Club World Cup, which in this game is called the European Champions League and the World Club Classic, respectively. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, first game, and we're up against Artisti de Gol, the Italian team. Uh, you can't see this, but I'm using my hands to do that funny Italian gesture to tell you I'm against the Italians. Which is really funny, I guess. There's no VAR in this game, which we're thankful for, because it would have picked up this denial of a goal-scoring opportunity, but we just ignore that. Instead, we go on the counter-attack, and we find ourselves quickly at their side. And we slap one in, and it's 1-0 already. It was a G.I. Jane jump. We keep pestering them, and because of that, we get a free opportunity from a free kick. Because of that, we get our second goal opportunity here. And again, very simple, 2-0, and we're just breezing past them. It's too easy, way too easy. We keep ripping their defensive shreds, which allows us more opportunities. This time, Palmer, with a cannon of a right foot, shoots it at Lorenzi, but he saves it. That wasn't even the cannon. Herrera with a cross, missed by two people. Milan throwing his life on the line, but it goes towards the keeper. It's the second half, and Artista Gold decides to put themselves into second gear. They swarm us, get themselves in front of goal, and they, they, they do a little pass, a little cheeky pass, and it's a cheeky tap in. How fun is that, huh? Well, two can play that game. Let's see how they like it instead. We get close to the face of goal, take a shot, it's deflected, and it's a tap-in. A nice and easy tap-in. Right, I do have to cut the clip here because you won't believe me, he does grab the corner flag and throw it into the crowd and it gets grisly, but the game continues after that. You know, after the crowd screamed in horror, but... In delight, because we scored. We receive yet another opportunity to score, and of course, we will take it. We give the goalkeeper a concussion as well, and you, you, you won't believe me, but they go for another celebration at the corner flag, but this time it was stuck to the ground with duct tape, so it doesn't happen again. Ho hopefully. We're not done, however. It's the last few minutes of the game, and we still press on. We go for the attack. We get to the face of goal. One-on-one, -on -one, and it's an easy finish. With that, we end the game at 5-1, having completely destroyed Artista the goal and giving us a really good start to the group stages. Oh, no, never mind, we're, we're second. We're, we're second. Here it is, one of the most anticipated games of the season. We're against Sports Caravella, and if you've played the game before, this is by far one of the toughest opponents you can face off in the game. That is even including the international opponents. Having said that, we do not go off to a good start. Even with a couple of passes, we lose the ball instantly, which allows them to go on a counter-attack. The ball goes over to Jaeger, who holds onto it. Finds a delicate cross. And on the end of it is Valet, with a shot already, within four minutes. They're not done there, they still got on the attack. Jaeger, with a weird pass there, allows us to go in the counter-attack. From one pass to another, to another, finds Fior. He finds a beautiful cross. 
Finds Herrera at the end of it, and it's a smashing shot. First shot, first one on target, first goal. The party doesn't stop. Herrera, the goal scorer, finds himself on the ball. Bides his time to cross. Could be better. I could do better, just saying. Palmer with a shot. Milan, rebound. It's a cheesy rebound goal, but it's our cheesy rebound goal. And, oh my goodness, this is by far one of the most surreal things that have happened. We're going against the Sports Caravella and winning 2-0 right now. 2-0. I feel honestly proud. This is by far one of the best achievements I've ever had in my life. And I managed to scrape a C in French. My goodness. Do you think you can hold a 2-0 lead? In my heart, yes. Okay, third and final game of the group stages. Thanks to the previous result, we have to win this game. And not only that, we have to score a lot of goals, and I mean a lot. Thank you, Sports Caravella. <coughs> Thankfully, the players understand what they need to do. They can rush in at them like you do going to the toilet after a hearty Taco Bell. And sticking to the Taco Bell analogy, we just keep going. And look at the goal difference. Because of that, we go directly into the finals against Savancha FC. Right, it's the finals. Finally, we're up against Savancha FC. The percentages do not look good for us. They edge slightly towards Savancha, and to be fair, the start of the game does kind of show that. It starts off bad until it doesn't look bad. We steal the ball, go on the counter-attack, and Palmer, who thinks he's playing pool, calls out top corner. Nice shot! And puts it in there. The ball's in a court, literally, and Glada does a terrible mistake, you absolute moron. Jovanovic the punt with a shot, gives us a heart attack, but it hits the post. Okay, we recovered from the heart attack a lot quicker than I thought we would. Uh, we pass it around quite well. It goes over to Palmer, and for some reason, he, he still thinks we're playing pool. You don't need to cut the shots, man. You don't need to go for the corner. That's okay. You, you can go for a normal shot. It's fine. Again, they're still threatening us with a good time. It's a beautiful cross. Salah misses it, but it's offside. Thankfully. Thankfully. Hey, it's an easy counter-attack. Tester finds Milan. And, I, oh, again, you don't need to cut the pockets anymore. You don't. Anyway. Just like a bad rash, they keep coming around. Not once though, however, twice. They come around twice. Second time round, they do kind of mess up, which allows the ball to go all the way over to their side. Luckily, this gives the opportunity for Fior to flex his muscles and throw the ball from 50 miles away. Leading to the next goal. 4-0. Despite being 4-0 up, they're still relentless on the attack. They find the opportunity to shot. Again, it's close, hits the post. Another heart attack moment, please stop. They still keep the attack going. Guerin on the side, biding his time. Very simple pass, and my goodness, out of all the shots they've had, a tap in is what allows them to score. 4 1. 4 1. Thankfully, that's the last eventful thing that happens in the game, and because of that, we win 4 1 and become European champions. We win what is essentially the equivalent to the Champions League. And we've essentially completed the game. That is until we realise that this in itself is still a game and it actually gets harder. Okay, with the European Challenge Cup out of the way, meaning we've beaten the Champions League, we're now up to the Club World Cup, which is, in this game, the World Club Classic. And I spent way more than five takes, or five... I can't even do it right this time, jeez. Anyway, it's time for the World Club Classic. Next opponent is Diggy Lions.
There's something magical about the first World Club Classic game. Not only is it directly after your first European Challenge Cup win, but everything is completely new. That is, new team, new stadium, and more importantly, new players. Players that are apparently so good, they get into your main squad, while normally being a substitute in their original team. Diggy Lines is a good example. Their kit is really well designed, and already they're very aggressive. Scored a goal, and never mind, I hate this place. But, not to worry. We can get back into this. Especially with a good delivery. Speaking of which, if you're on the ball and... Uh, oh. Ah. Never mind. A wonderful... Okay, a wonderful... De anyway, fourth time's the charm. A wonderful... Del oh, never mind. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. 1-1. One, one. As expected, baby. With that, we get a momentum swing. We go on the counter-attack, and with a bit of match-fixing... Herrera and the Diggy Lines defender exchange passes. It's a shot from Herrera, but it hits the post. <laughs> then Diggy Lines decide to give Salah free facial reconstruction surgery. And then Diaz goes on the counter attack. Takes a shot, but it whistles past the goal. And that is the end of the first leg. We finish it at 1 1, but we do get an away goal, giving us the slight advantage. second leg and we're looking optimistic well i hope on top of that we also have the fact that we have an away goal from previous game as well as the fact that we're playing at home that hopefully makes it easier to go for a nil nil draw yeah that's right i'm going for a nil nil draw sue me luckily we do bring it to the 54th minute before anything happens unluckily it's their highlight reel and just like last leg we can see the first i was the same player as or well, tate And on top of that, this has to give us not one, but two. Two. Two heart attacks, man. Two of them. But because of that, we do go into counter-attack. And we miss. Nice. But no, no, no. Don't worry. Do not worry. We have plenty of time. Right? Right? Like I said, don't worry, we are still the main characters and we must have some sort of plot armor. Maybe a free shot? Ah yes, penalty, perfect. However, Mikhail's decides to channel his inner Shabby Alonso, misses the first shot, gets the rebound, and it's 1-1, one, one, and we drag it to penalties. Due to how insane and intense these penalties were, I don't feel that commentary is sufficient to show how I was feeling during this. Instead, I'll use sound effects to convey my emotions. No! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay, not to panic, they are, you know, one penalty ahead, and we do need this saved. We very much need this saved. Again, we need this saved. Salah, you listening? Hello? 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 Salah? And with that, we breeze into the semi-finals. But very easily. Okay, semi-finals time. And we're up against Free Wheelers FC. And judging by the name, this could be the American team. I can't tell. Maybe it's because there's free in it. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. We get off to a fast start, pass it around really quickly, and already we're in front of goal. Milan takes a shot, blocked, and Herrera with a really cheesy rebound goal, and it's 1-0 already. And it's a good start, it's a really good start. Very quickly though, they get a corner. But, to be fair, what can go wrong with the corner? 
Ah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We we have the home ground advantage. We're at home. We have the fans behind our backs. What can go wrong? Ah. Okay. Well, there goes all our hopes and aspirations down the toilet. We are... We're getting destroyed at home. Never mind. But it doesn't matter. We bounce back. We rely on the fact that they make mistakes. And we pounce on them. Just like so. Test it with a shot. And it's in. 2-2. Two, two. Back in it, baby. Back in it. Well, that is what I would say if we didn't concede yet another goal. Good. Great. Because of that, we end the first leg as a 3-2 loss. Meaning we have to bounce back in the second game. Which is, you know, really, really fun. As mentioned before, this is the second leg. They have a 58% chance to win. We have 33. Oh well. But as mentioned before, we have plot armor apparently. We pass the ball around like it's hot potato. In front of goal and it's an easy first goal. However, we're still behind because of away goals. Because that's a, that's a fun rule. Still. However, Herrera's not done. He decides to pad his shooting stats by shooting at the keeper first, and then the goal, and already it's 2-0, and we're winning. And we are breezing past them. Herrera is an absolute nightmare for them, and three wheelers, more like three, but, well, three, three is already part of the name, so you, right, that, that, right, no, um, uh, I don't know, um, three, we, no, uh. Cut the cliff. Cut, 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 cut the cliff. Oh, and look at that. We made it. Three. Palmer, using his foot rather than his palm, as his name suggests, makes it three. And we're winning 5 3 on aggregate. Oh, and the nightmare does not end. Herrera gets his hat trick. And the humiliation of Three Wheelers FC is completed. We win 4 0. Aggregate score 6 3. And we move on to the finals. Again, like I said, easy peasy. Lemon squishy. Just like always, we try to go for the first shot. We have a couple of attempts. Miss all of them, literally. Three shots, zero on target. Aztec, however, first shot, in fact, their first shot, on target, and it's the first goal of the game. Great. Doesn't stop there, though. They keep going. They've only had two shots this entire game. Oh, never mind. Make it three, and it's their second goal already. We are... We are... We are not having a good time. Definitely not. Okay, half-time talk. That did not go well. Uh, let's do better next half, okay? Alright, just kidding. We decided to swap our left mid and put on another striker. Hopefully, with these changes in mind, we can, you know... Not concede another two more goals, I guess? More specifically, the substitutes that are used are Diaz is off for Miller, who's actually our starting left mid, and Conti is on instead of Milan. So we get another striker in our front lines so realistically we, we, we were just holding back you know simple explanation we, we, we were holding back we don't want to make it too easy for them right yeah yeah oh speaking of which here's one of the substitutes conti doing a cute little trick passing it to palmer and oh okay yeah two one see i told you we were holding back see now the real game starts here is that generic enough commentary line right cool with the newfound ability of passing the ball around we start knocking at their door we missed the first chance but have another with this one we're a bit more successful Fior with a decent cross over to Mikhail's and it just about goes over the keeper and look at that we got it 
2-2. And like I said, that team talk worked. We just needed to not play bad. Simple as. Simple as. Okay, tensions are the high. It's literally last five minutes. They could easily score. But we don't. It's the important thing. We go on the counter-attack. Again, we passed the ball around. Something we just learned recently. Oh, oh, never mind. No, we didn't. Oh, what's this? Herrera, a last-minute goal. It's written in the stars. We have to... Nope, never mind. A last-minute goal. A very cinematic way to end this, but can that actually happen? Judging by the fact there's still three minutes left on the video, probably not. It might go to penalties. Oh, oh, never mind. It is. It is 3-2, and we finally, finally... We win the World Club Classic. And we get the achievement of the treble. Or, realistically speaking, the quadruple. We did win another trophy before this. So it counts as four. So it's a quadruple. Okay. And that's it. We're finally winners. We've finally got to the end of the video. We've won the quadruple. And I'm not really good at ending videos. So I won't. Here's the credits. Bye.